Good morning and welcome to LU Life Church. This is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donnie C. Palmer. Sunday, 24th of April. I'm telling you from my vantage point outside, it is bright and beautiful. It's a wonderful, I would say pre-summer, late spring look, and it's beautiful. The title of our segment today, Let There Be Light, could not be more appropriate. I would like to ask you to join me before we start our segment today, to enter into a deep, grateful moment. If you look on your screen straight ahead, you can see the light trying to come through that portal. And just for a moment, imagine your heart as this portal, open, open to opportunities, open to possibilities, open to love, open to peace. But in order for that to happen, we have to let go of the pending darkness in our situations. We have had a week, we have had years, but we are here today. You'll never be here again. This day only come about once in a lifetime. So we're going to enter in today into a moment of gratitude. Let us take a deep, grateful breath together Hold it, out, how good does that feel? We're going to take another deep, deliberate, grateful breath, grateful for all we have had, but we're gonna add some spice, grateful for all of those things that can be, those things that we wish, desire to happen in our life that is not really up to us, but it's up to life itself. And so we're going to be open today, open to life, we're going to take a deep, grateful breath, pre the joy of the expectation, and oh, for all that we have had, we're going to just combine that feeling together, that feeling of I'm home. Let's do that together. Let's take a deep, grateful breath. Hold it and let go. Wonderful. Let there be life. What wonderful first four words. A statement with promise for you and for me. A promise of hope, a promise of delight. It suggests a transition, a transition from dark and dismal to that new position and experience of light and clarity. Light causes us to see more clearly. Is that right? Today, however, many remain in darkness, darkness of mood and tone of thoughts, feelings, words, outlook. Their outlook is dark. Their mood. Have you ever come across somebody and their mood, they're always moody? I mean, there's various moods, but those moods are dark, sinister-like. The tone, the tone of their voice, the tone just of being in their presence, it talks about like a dark cloud is over you and over that situation. What about those whose words? It's dark. It's always full of darkness. And the outlook is so gloomy, only ever seeing darkness. Now, the darkness I speak of here is not black, as in the color black. Rather, darkness as a state. Darkness as a state of things, a state of darkness. Scripture speaks saying, and oh, how great is this darkness. This darkness does not speak either of night. No. Because night is the other half of a day, the beginning of a new day towards the dawning. So rather, the darkness that we speak of today, this darkness is void, the void of light, where there is no light, nor love, 
no sign of life. What is such a place? Such a place is despair and gloom. And it breeds contempt, hate, malice, depression, deep, deep, deep loneliness inside, bitter, bitter anger, darkness. But do not stay in that place. Do not allow yourself to rot and sink and get stuck in a rut of darkness. Rather, scripture comes this morning to encourage us. Life encourages us today. What the scriptures say, let there be light. Light to your world and for your world, let there be light. Each person has the power to switch on or switch off the light. As a babe or an innocent child, all is light. Beautiful, sparkly, shining. You notice you put some things out and you put a child down on the mat and you put some things over here that's dark. They are going to gravitate where? Towards the light, towards the sparkly, towards the shining. But as we grow, so certain things grow out, it seems, of the atmosphere around us or the situation around us. And so there grows fear. Yes, fear. Before a child would just step off, <laughs> you have to grab them back. They would put their hands towards the fire because it looks beautiful. And so we have to pull them back. But as we grow there, we develop fear. Fear for things we don't need to be afraid of. We develop superstition. Oh my goodness, to be so superstitious and suspicious. Why are they looking at me? <laughs> you enter a room, oh, what are they going to say? Some is even afraid to look at themselves in the mirror. And so as we grow, there is indifference. You know, oh, well, same old, same old. What else can I expect in the world? Indifference to one another. Indifference separation oh my goodness does it grow separation as we get older we seem to be separating ourselves from the very thing that created us from love we begin to separate ourselves from each other we begin to look for what do i need to be afraid of in this person we do not gravitate towards light as we grow older yes these things creeps in hiding when these things happen and occur in our life, the superstition, the suspicion, the fear, the indifference, the separation, what begins to happen is it hides the light. It's not that the light is not there. But what we find is no delight. How do we get back the light? How do we get back into the light? Ah, turn around. No, 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 that's right. Turn around, keep turning, keep turning, keep, uh, keep turning all the way around that's it how do i do that i turn around what do you mean i mean change your mind that turning around some people call it repentance whatever change your mind change your sphere okay change your mind you change your sphere change your mind you change your sphere we can almost make a gym out of that should we Change your mind, change your sphere. Mm, let's stop there. So you change your mind, you change your sphere. What happens then? You go from darkness to light. You say to me, Rev, can it be so simple? It sure can. Some say never. I say never say never, unless you're sure and secure. So sure as you breathe, you can change your mind, okay? As sure as you are breathing today, sure I am that you can change your mind. But the thing is, you cannot change another's mind. And that is the problem. We change our mind, but we are expecting for others to, you know, to also change their mind. But when you change your mind, your world changes. That's right. So how you view, even view that person that you wish they would change your mind. It's only a wish. You can't force them. But in your world, if you change your mind in your world and everything else in your world changes, you have the power to decide. Yes, you are also not just have the power to decide to change your mind. You have the power to decide the level 
of light that you will allow into your life and your world. So you say, well, you know, I, I, I've been hurt. I'm not going to go there. I'm not even going to talk to that person. I'm not going to, you know, and, and we just we just allow a little light to come in rather than allow the whole thing to flood your world. Oh, man. You see my world? My world is full to bursting with light. What do I call such a world? I call it a world of delight. Do I not have sickness? Oh, man, you don't want to know what my back is going through right now. <laughs> oh, there are those of you who saw me after that 40th birthday thing last night. You would know. Man, I could hardly walk out of that place. But my inner world is so full of light. It propels me. You notice you never see the engine of a car outside. You look at the car, you don't see the engine. But when you get in and you turn your key... The, it powers up because of the power inside. So I know my power inside. And that's what I'm asking you to do today. You've got to change your mind. You can't see your mind from outside, but you have the power inside to change your mind at any time and to allow light into your situation. Oh, listen to this. I love another scripture. It says, I am the light. <laughs> yes, the light of my world. I love that scripture. I am the light, the light of my world. And yet again, in another scripture, it's also said, you are the light. Yes. And so you must be the light of your world. When you understand that, okay, when you understand that, that that which lives you and breathes you is life, <laughs> life that is clear without any boundaries, without any frames, without motives, Oh my God, that's that breath that lives you. That thing that lives the breath that lives you is loving and luminous. You will begin to see everything around you in this light. You'll begin to feel better. You'll begin to feel lighter. Your thoughts brighter, less gloomier. Yes, you will begin to feel light and bright. So as I end today's short segment, already 12 minutes in, I invite you to come into the light, the light of God. Your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen all over and all about you. Let there be light. Shine this week, my friends, as lights. In your mind, shine new thoughts, bright ones. Can you see the opposite of what ails you now, what bothers you now? Can you have a glimpse of what the opposite of that looks like? Then will you open up and allow some light in? To your world, as I come to an end, I speak these words today. If you would receive them and believe them as I have sent in them, a change, a change, yes, in your mind towards them, then you would be and you would have the change you seek and the change you deserve. So here are these words. I speak them to you today. I say, let there be light. Amen. Now, if you've enjoyed this short segment today, please pass it on. Pass it on to your friends and families so that they too might have life and light shining in their life this week. To donate, and I thank you in advance for your kind donation, please go to the description box below and there you'll find a PayPal link and you can make your PayPal donation there. Thank you so much. Or you can go directly yourself to the PayPal website. It's very safe. And you can make your payment, or I should call it a donation, out to lulifechurch at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Why not leave us a thumbs up to let me know you were here? Even though the thumbs up doesn't show your name, it lets me know somebody was here. Or leave us a comment. Your comments are always, always welcome. And it encourages me. It encourages other people who comes to the site. Lastly, I would like to thank you today for joining me. This is the Reverend Dr. Domisi Palmer at LU Life Church, your global spiritual community portal. Have a wonderful day. A wonderful life full of light.